share another vlog with you. And in this vlog, you're going to learn two things. First, what is moonlighting? And second, how to earn money without moonlighting? In Singapore, moonlighting refers to the act of taking on additional employment or engaging in side jobs while still holding a primary, full-time job. This secondary employment can either be within the same industry or in a completely different field. Moonlighting may include freelance work, part-time jobs, or personal business ventures conducted outside of regular work hours. Foreigners in Singapore are only allowed to have one source of income, unless, of course, you are a permanent resident or a long-term visit pass holder or an entry pass holder. If you are an entry pass holder, you're allowed to have a job, you're allowed to work, and you're also allowed to have your own business. If you're a long-term visit pass holder, you are now allowed to have your own business. So, if you're a permanent residence, there's no limit to the number of income sources that you may have, like as long as it's legal, of course, like um, employment or also business. But if you're on a work permit, S pass, employment pass, there are limitations or restrictions on the kind of income that you can have. Alright, so for work permit holders, you're only allowed to have one source of income or one employment only. For SPAS, also the same, you should only have one employer or one job. So for employment pass, you should only have one job. Although, if you're an employment pass holder, you may be assigned in other locations or overseas. And you are allowed to have shares or be a director of other companies. Um, there are many um, fine prints that you need to read. Legal restrictions. For Singaporean and permanent resident employees, moonlighting is generally allowed unless explicitly restricted by their employment contract. For foreign workers on work permits or S passes, moonlighting is strictly prohibited under Singapore's Ministry of Manpower (MOM) regulations. Violating these rules can result in fines, revocation of work passes, or deportation. Employment contract clauses. Some employers include non-compete or conflict of interest clauses in contracts, which prevent employees from taking on additional jobs, especially if they work for competitors or in similar industries. Employees must review their contracts to ensure they are not breaching any terms related to outside work. Potential conflict of interest. Moonlighting can lead to conflicts of interest, particularly if the side job negatively impacts the employee's performance at their primary job or involves working for a competitor. Ethics and transparency. Employees are often encouraged to inform their employers if they intend to moonlight, especially in industries where intellectual property, confidentiality, or loyalty are concerns. Transparency helps prevent issues related to conflicts of interest. All right, this applies to local workers. So I'm not going to discuss about this further. Okay, so when we say earning money, of course, we think about our legal jobs. So um, how do you earn more income since you're not allowed to do other stuff? types of selling and um, you think about how to invest your money or how to make more money legally so here are the other ways or the options you can have you can choose from when deciding on earning more than one income okay let's start investing in stocks or real estate investment trusts reits how it works you can invest in dividend-paying stocks or REITs, earning passive income through dividends. These are shares of companies or real estate investments that distribute profits to shareholders. Earnings. Dividend yields range from 3% to 6% annually, depending on market conditions and the investments you choose. Platforms. Online brokerage accounts like Tiger Brokers or Saxo for stocks and REITs. 
while there are restrictions on foreign workers regarding moonlighting and taking up additional employment, passive investments like stocks do not fall under these employment regulations. Therefore, investing in the stock market is legal and not considered as work or moonlighting. This is a passive income and therefore is allowed to any workers. Online surveys, how it works. Companies conduct market research through online surveys and pay participants for their opinions on products and services. These are often simple surveys with multiple choice questions. Earnings, payments range from 1 Singapore dollar to 5 Singapore dollars per survey, with occasional higher paying surveys or gift card rewards. Platforms, to Luna, iPanel Online, and YouGov are common platforms that offer paid surveys in Singapore. Answering the surveys also constitute work, so this one, I'm sorry, is not allowed. Testing apps and websites, how it works. Companies pay individuals to test their apps or websites for usability, bugs, and overall functionality before launching. Testers provide feedback on the user experience or report any issues. Earnings, payments can be per test or per hour, ranging from 10 Singapore dollars to 50 Singapore dollars depending on complexity, platforms. Again, this one constitutes work, so it's also not allowed. Play to earn, P2E, games, how it works. Play to earn games reward players with in-game items or currencies that have real-world value. These rewards can often be traded or sold for cryptocurrency or fiat money. Earnings, depending on the game and the amount of time you spend, earnings can range from a few dollars to hundreds. Popular P2E games sometimes require an upfront investment, buying NFTs or tokens to start but free-to-play options exist. Examples, Axie Infinity, Decentraland, and The Sandbox. This requires actual work, or sometimes full-time, so this is not allowed. Now, if you're playing for leisure, or simply playing games for entertainment, it should not be an issue. You are free to play mobile games during your free time. As long as it doesn't interfere with your job duties or violate any employment contract terms, then it's not illegal. How about vlogging, live streaming, and content creation? Well, for those work permit holders and SPAS holders, doing this as a hobby, posting online, doing channels online, but not earning any money this is totally allowed but if you're no longer doing it as a hobby and you're earning money from it it is now considered as work or self-employment because you're generating revenue from ads sponsorship deals or affiliate marketing this is already considered as another form of employment and therefore it is prohibited for both SPAS holders and work permit holders. Okay, I know many are doing this, but we need to understand that unless you own the property, you are not allowed to sublet it for profit. If you are an SPAS holder who wants to sublet the room just to share rent with you, it is allowed. But to earn profit from that tenant, it is not allowed. It's prohibited. Okay, let's have a quick um, check. Freelance work or any part-time job is not allowed. Delivery rider, driver, not allowed. Selling anything is not allowed, including reselling and networking, not allowed. Teaching or tutoring is also not allowed. But playing games on your phone as for fun, while earning money, it is allowed, yes. Just because the authorities doesn't know you're selling, you're safe. But actually, once you post it in the social media, once you post it online, you're already at risk of being investigated. Okay, so that's about everything that I can share for this vlog for now. So do comment below if you know any other ways that we can earn money legally. Or you can also comment below for any other questions that you may have and I'll try my best to answer them. Okay, just to give a quick clarification on what I mentioned is legal considering playing games. If you're playing games for fun or leisure and you want rewards or prizes, that one is not an issue. But if you are playing the games regularly to have income, 
that is not allowed. That is considered as moonlighting. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos like this. If you like this video, please click like. And also, please try to check my other two vlogs for uh, Baxter Cooks and Miscellaneous TV. Thank you for watching.